Two. Two. A one. one. Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Maggie Terry doing Deluxe Fight Board Games. So this is a regular video series I have on the channel every single month where I talk about various board games that are either inherently deluxe or we've deluxified and then go over them. And this this video is different because I'm joined by... Me! And the reason I'm joined by you is because... Because these are all because these are all board games that I have played before. Yes, and so some of the deluxe things she doesn't even know they're going to be showing up. Some of them she's played with. Yeah, some of these things you have not seen. You've played the game and you haven't seen the deluxe side bits. So we're going to get to see all of that. Now before we start, the usual announcements for this. Well, not usual announcements, but one primary announcement, which is this particular video series of deluxe five board games is brought to you by Top Shelf Gamer. Brought to you doesn't mean that I get a check or anything like that. What it does mean is that they send me various deluxe five bits every single month that generally get featured in the channel, I, in the video. I'll still talk about what I like, don't like, which pieces I liked, which pieces I don't particularly want to add to my board game. I'll still go over all of that. Additionally, there is going to be a link to the store down below as well as a coupon code for whatever you might want to buy in terms of getting a discount or anything like that. Please understand, I do get a commission on any purchases you buy, so take any opinion with a grain of salt if you want, although, I mean, not although, I'll still tell you what I liked and didn't like. But before we go into the five new games, one small little update from last video, which is last month I talked about the gaming bag that I got from Board Game Tables. I had backed on Kickstarter their original bag and got them their bag, and if you're like, wasn't it blue, it was blue. In that video, I had made note of the fact that while I particularly enjoy the bag, and while it worked well for me, that I had seen people who had complaints about the, the cords or the cables or basically how supportive it was, and they saw the video and they're like, hey, by the way, uh, we actually know about those complaints and we've upgraded our bags. Do you want one to see if it's better? And I'm like, well, I actually like my bag as is, but sure. So this is going to be their newer bag. They have reinforced cables and whatnot to make it more secure. The reason I'm talking about all that is not to tell you about the bag. I did that last month. But for those of you who are scared off by the lack of reinforcement, well, apparently they actually know about that problem. Not that I had it as a problem, and they have since upgraded their bags accordingly. So small update there. Now, Ricky. Yes? Which game do you want to do first? Hmm. Pick any of the five games. We have, for context, we have Trogdor the board game, we have Alice in Wonderland's mm. Paint the Roses, which isn't actually out yet. We have um, Cat Lady, Paint Quacks. Paint the Roses. Um, I'm going to do them in order of how much I like them, from how much I think they're deluxe and like them a lot. Okay. We have Cat Lady, we have Quacks the um, Mercury, we have Tiny Towns. And now, starting off with that, we have Paint the Roses from, what's it called, from North Star Game Studio. And this specifically is the deluxe version of that game. Ricky actually started this video by telling me, Paint the Roses, that's not deluxe, which is... I didn't know it was deluxe very well, because you told me the first time we played it and I completely forgot about that. Yes, so this is Paint the Roses, this is the deluxe version of the game. The deluxe version of the game, this is actually going to be on Kickstarter, I want to say shortly... Depends on when this video is going up. I think it's going up on Kickstarter shortly. Yeah, this is going up in a Kickstarter on October. I will be covering the game, but this is one that's not currently available. Here, you want to go ahead and take that out? Uh -huh. So, what are the differences between the deluxe and the non-deluxe version of the game? Ricky, can you guess what the differences are? Well, I'm going to... Well, first of all, I'm assuming in the, in the, the non-deluxe version... The little minifigures are going to be are going to be cardboard studs. Standees. Yes, cardboard standees. And also, this is the one that I use. And I don't look. And I don't can think. Oh, that game's deluxe when I see a tray. So That's the tray. Yes, for those of you who know, this is going to be a game tray. Is it game trays? Yes, it's game trays. Got the little logo. This is going to be a game trays insert. Uh, so the deluxe version of the game is going to come with a game trays insert. I don't actually know all the differences, so I don't even know if the deluxe does or doesn't come with miniatures. Uh, this Probably. one comes with more 3D acrylic tiles. I don't know if they're acrylic, but they're thicker plastic tiles, which I'm just dropping all over the place. <laughs> and I do not know, again, if the deluxe or non-deluxe version does not. It may come with standard, just cardboard tokens. I'm not certain, but I mean, this is a beautiful setup over here. The context of these tiles over here, these are going to be the basic starting tiles that you're going to put on the board in the corners. And this is going to be a bit of a deduction game, which speaking of which, let's go ahead and show you this. This is going to be a double layered board. Do you know what double layered means? Dual layered? I'm going to assume it means there's in, there's indents. That is correct. Dual because layered. Because of this. So the way it works, Ricky, is dual layered means there's two layers of cardboard. One layer is the bottom layer, and the other layer goes on top, giving it that little indent thing. Yep. Sometimes you have triple layered boards, which is more complicated, but either way, Ooh. dual layered, uh, this is going to be a dual layered board. I believe the retail version or the non-deluxe version is not going to be dual layered. Again, 
don't actually take my word for anything in this video, but what is and isn't deluxe so much as that's not where the queen goes at all. But I know. yeah, she knows. She knows. She's actually played this game already <laughs> with me. Uh, past that, again, we have more game trays inserts over here, which again, I'm not even sure it's game trays. It looked like a game trays logo over there, but I'm pretty sure. Does it say game trays anywhere here? Game trays. Again, that's I'm pretty sure that's the game trays logo, but usually it says game trays. So I'm like 94 percent sure. How uh, about for the video, it just assumes game trays. For the video, we're going to assume it's Game Trace. That's going to be the details there. And then we have, again, more more deluxe five little tokens, which oh, I'm yeah. assuming we deluxe. We haven't played with these yet, but I've definitely seen them. Yeah, the game and itself, also the little teapots we have really cute. all these little modules you can add in. We've so far only played the base game. We haven't played with any of the modules yet, which I want yeah. to play with the modules because it's going to drastically with, affect my opinion of the game. I want to start with the White Rabbit module because he's cute. You want to start with the White Rabbit module? He's which one's cute. that? Is there a White Rabbit? Is there a White yes. Rabbit? Yes. Here we go. The I White see. Rabbit module. He's so cute. Yeah, the module is going to add little, uh, just different cards or abilities or things that are taken into account, as well as different challenges to get the little five keys over there. But that's basically going to be, uh, del uh, what is it called again? It's called Paint the Roses by North Star Games, and this is specifically the deluxe version of the game. It's it's one that I wanted to include. You want to go ahead and put these back? Yeah. It's one that I wanted to include in this video, uh, basically, once I opened it. I opened the game and I was like, I should have done an unboxing of this because of how pretty the insert is and how nice everything looks. And I said there's no reason why I can't because I, cause I have no idea what half the stuff is. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and put that away. I want to go off with your head. Off with your head. Off with with your head. head. I wonder if they actually said, they don't actually say over here, they have rule books. No, they, they have, do. No, they do. you want to survive the garden? No, no, I wonder if they say what's deluxe and non-deluxe. It does not look like they do over here. It probably says somewhere. There's, I probably got an email from them telling me what isn't isn't deluxe, but I wasn't thinking of that when I did this video. But this is this game designed by Ben Goldman. I've already played it a few times with the non-modules, and so far I can say I enjoy it. How much I enjoy it, we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah. What's next, Rookie? Hmm, Tiny Towns. Tiny Towns. Ooh, Tiny Towns. Ready for excitement? I'm assuming that's the one I haven't seen the deluxified versions of because I didn't, because I had no clue this was deluxified. Tricks on her. The only one that doesn't have stuff she hasn't seen is Trogdor. What? What? Trog Trogger's the only game that you haven't seen new stuff for. Okay. And I so. see you. So you showed me the Fish Cali. Well, let's go. Well, maybe you've seen the Cali stuff. So this is going you to be. Showed me yet. This is going to be Tiny Towns and everything inside Tiny oh, Towns. This is going to be all three expansions as well as the little Trees mini expansion, which we haven't actually played with the Trees mini expansion. Yeah, that's yes! her. That's her face as she sees all the deluxified resources yes! and the coins. I saw these in a box in a box that had nothing to do with Tiny Towns. And I was like, "Oh, these are so cute!" So, I did not know they were part of this. The <laughs> box he's referring to, which is worth mentioning out, is going to be Top Shelf Gamer. Speaking of Top Shelf Gamer, is going to be running a Kickstarter shortly for their Deluxified Resources line, uh, the Realistic Resources line. Basically, the Stonemaier line of Realistic Resources that they originally sold a long time ago is a line that they've since sold to Top Shelf Gamer. I shouldn't say sold. They have either sold or they've moved Should it on it soft. I, I don't know what they did. Mm -hmm. Top Shelf Gamer does it now. And so that is going to be a line that they're doing a set of realistic resources. Some of those are used for specific games if you buy specific kits of specific resources. Rix, you can go ahead and open the bags and make little piles of them. Yes! Don't mix the piles yet. So in this insert over here is going to be, I mean, this is going to be a folded space insert to begin with. I put all these together. These are, a folded space is a fun one. I don't love assembling inserts. And by that, I mean, I hate assembling inserts, but I do assemble I, inserts. I enjoy it. I, I like putting them together. I don't well, like I'm, the gluing. I'm, I'm used to I'm used to gluing tiny stuff. I just don't. Maybe do, I'll explain I, it to you. Maybe I'll. I did it when I I did it when I did music box kits. Maybe I'll have you do the next insert. Thank you. I wonder if you could follow instructions to follow, do it from start to finish. I managed I managed to but by myself put the correct amount of glue on 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 houses that were the size that were the size of let's say up to the first crease of a figure figure. So this is gonna be a full space insert. They have less of the. Uh, What's it called? The heft or the security of a wooden insert, but they are going to be, well, they, they, they do the job well, they hold their cards. I haven't actually sleeved my cards yet, which I should. It's a shame I have not. But this is going to be, let's go ahead and show you how this works from the top-down approach. Oh. Sorry, but I'm getting this on the yeah, camera. So we have our stack of regular cards in there. We have our stack of special cards all in here. And then we have the various building types in two different containers over there. So if you're looking at the top of the camera, you can see how we have all building types, which makes this game very easy to set up and get moving. The nice part is a game we play fairly often is, and I plan on having a review of this whole game at some point, but you can just pull these out, boom, and now your table is good to go. You already have all the stuff you need to start playing. 
pretty. You see? You see? It's pretty. I know. It's useful. It's so smooth and streamlined. Yes. Ah. Like oh, no. Yep. Almost dropped everything on the table. Then the downside. This is the downside. This is what we're going to call a first world problem. Do you know what a first world problem is? No. First world problems are the idea of problems that are only like problems because you have too much stuff. So <laughs> an example is like, oh no, I have so much money, my, my wallet's heavy. That would be a good example of a first world problem. So this first world problem over here is going to be I this beautiful this beautiful little insert is going to be very useful for like, the original resources. It doesn't hold these deluxe resources quite as well. The good news is we actually have tons of extra space to put them in bags, but it is potentially a problem. And again, you can see over here, everything over here slides in and out fairly smoothly and can get you up and running almost immediately as far as your game goes. Uh, as far as the resources, I'll still be experimenting with where they can go and whether I want to replace them. We have all the coins from the fortune expansion. We have all the people and villagers from the uh, villagers expansion. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the deluxe extras we have. So what do you want to look at first, Wookie? Um, the bricks, mostly because they're the closest. Yeah, so... Okay, these little bricks. They have the holes of a brick. They have the proper holes. They have all the little scuff marks. They have the right shape. And they will have the little proper scuff marks and div divots and all that other stuff. The only spot that does not look like a real brick is the bottom, and that's... Yeah, that's going to be, the, again, they're realistic line so of resources cute. where these are going to, the idea of these, the idea of these is when you're playing Tiny Towns, you're placing different the cubes down on the board. And those cubes are basically being used to utilize buildings. This takes the less abstract version and gives you more realistic version, realistic resources version of them, which is very cool. I don't yet know if I'll be keeping them with this game. It's entirely, we're going to play with it, we'll see. It's entirely possible that for a game like Tiny Towns, that basic cubes are better. So once I play the game with these, I'll be deciding whether I keep them with Tiny Towns or whether I repurpose them for another game entirely, because there's plenty of games that can use all of these resources. But as of right now, I like the resources. The resources are amazing. Well, the realistic resources are my favorite line of resources from Top Shelf Gamer. But as far as whether they work for, for Tiny Towns, that is an entirely different conversation that I'm not actually sold on just yet. I'm not against it. I just, it's a, think about Tiny Towns. If you ever played Tiny Towns, you have a board full of different tokens on the board. And having these instead may be a beautiful and amazing and an upgrade to your game, or may be completely unnecessary for the type of game that Tiny Towns is. These are my favorite. Yeah, they actually have some weight to them. Yeah, they have they some. They actually have some weight. So, some solid. Um, heft. I would. I, I'm. I'm. I would say the wood. The wood's your favorite. Cause it's simplistic, multicolored, and I, the hay bales are also really cute. Cause you can see the individual little grains. And they have a little bow, and these are so cute. And the one I favorite. don't like, by the way, yeah, those these, are yeah, these are going to be little, you know, typical standard cubes that you'll see, not cubes, uh, gems yeah, or... Yeah, even those water droplets that we have in another game, uh, and the blood ones, I would prefer the, uh, a, a blue version of them, I would prefer. Yeah, so for me... To the flat marbles. If we don't keep these, we can get them email. Well, the thing is, so this is replacing glass from, from Tiny Towns. Now, the thing glass. is, glass. Tiny Towns has a blue resource I thought it was water. No, you don't build things with water, you build things with glass. There are a number of things that require water. Buildings aren't one of them. Yes, they are. What do you mean? Like what? Bathtub, sink, no. cup of jelly, and other stuff. You don't build sinks with water. Sinks give you water. When you're building a building, you don't build with water. You build with glass, though. Glass windows and glass. I I know. I would st I, I would still I would still think of I would still think I uh, probably think of glass faster if it was a white piece or even just well, clear. Well, so the thing that I'm thinking of is I don't love these tokens to replace water, mm -hmm. but I do, if you actually, if you look at my, I'll have a video covering the realistic resources set for the Kickstarter, and if you look at those, they actually have something that I think is far better for glass, the little ice pieces. The ones that yeah, are those, oh, those ice, I should be, I look through every single box so I know what's in it. Yeah, so those I think I actually would prefer, which means I ice. may end up replacing, assuming I use the realistic resources at all, for this game, I may well end up replacing that glass. And then lastly, for the coins, to replace the coins from the uh, Fortune expansion, go ahead. Oh! We have these coins. Now, this is a thing that in general a uh, <laughs> Top Shelf Gamer will do, which is they'll give, give you they'll give you little bundles of coins you can grab they from any game. Dragon. And you can choose different bundles of coins that go with different games, and they may or may not actually be for that game. But they're just recommending them as a option for that game. And, right. I, I mean, these are cool to coins. I don't know if they specifically feel like a Tiny Towns coin, but they do work. 
Okay, now I kind of want to see if they have any things that, any coins that have like paws or kitty cats or something like Four. that to replace to replace those other or to and to have something to do with a cat lady or something. Does cat lady have coins in it? No, but it can, we can use those as the points instead of the little hearts. Oh, you you want coins for everything now? You there, see? it's a way to make it extra deluxe. Okay, Ricky, what game is next? Quacks. Quacks, dun dun, master. Actually, let's do quacks last. I want to do quacks last. No. I want to do quacks last. But I'm doing quack captain. Nope, last. I'm doing quacks last. Then we'll do it second to last. Okay. How about we do trogdor? Trogdor. And then we'll do this next because we're doing quacks. Trogdor. Yeah. Trogdor is going to be a game which has multiple versions of the game. We don't even have. We don't even have the most deluxe version of the game. Wait, what? We, there's an even more deluxe version of the game that has like a how board and everything. Is it our? How do you make this deluxe? This? What do you mean? How do you make it more deluxe? How do you make it more deluxe? Well, the board is more deluxe. The board is like a solid wood oh. engraving where you can put the tiles in. I'll show you a video of it sometime. It's very cool. I know cool. how to make it more deluxe. But Trogdor's a game that has a basic version of the game. This is a game we've oh, actually reviewed a long time ago together. It. it comes with meeples. It comes with pre-painted miniatures. Delightful pre-painted miniatures that feel like they were properly washed or something. They, they do a solid job uh. with these. That's going to be your favorite little monster, Trogdor, if you're not familiar. But yeah, Trogdor. And if you I'm haven't looked at the Trogdor ones. the Board Burninator, you absolutely should. I'm and if you want Strong Bad, well, we can give you Strong Bad in one second. Is it Strong Bad? I can't remember. No. No, that's something else. Strong, Trog Hammer. No, Strong Bad. Strong Bad was the name of the failed Trogdor. Yeah, this is Trog, Trog Hammer is his name. And then we have these adorable little villagers that the way these villagers work. Oh, can I show it, please? Oh, you want to show? Go ahead. I also want to show the, the little huts. So go ahead, show the villager. Here you go. Just yes. show the front camera. So, when, well, yes. They have a little fire helmet from the visual layers throw on fire. We'll show you how them throw on fire in a minute. La, 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 la. And you stick it on, and they run around, and they run around the board screaming, like, yeah! And they, and they set all the tiles, of, and they follow the path. And what happens if they set a hut on fire? Um, they don't. Well, if they run into a hut, they'll set it on fire. Oh, yes. I love this part. And in the, the non-deluxe pieces, they just have a hut, and you flip it to the other side when it's on fire. What about this one? This one, you flip the roof, and there's a fire. That's basically about ah! it. Yeah. So these pieces, I'll show you the top it's down over a here. A lot of fun. We it's have cute. this little hut over here that that sits on nicely, and then you can flip that, and suddenly the hut is on fire. So you can see that aspect of the way they manage these huts over here. <laughs> And the same thing with the people over there. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be Trogdor. This is a very deluxified version of the game. It's not, again, not the most deluxe. If you really want the most deluxe version of the game, you would have to, uh, it's expensive. The most deluxe version of the game is, I think it's like $250, something like that. It's not cheap. It's what? How much was this? Um, I don't actually remember. I, I remember you. Want, I remember seeing you on the order page. No, no. I, no, I, was, I asked you for the Trogdor version. I was on the Kickstarter page to show you what it was, but I don't know what this one cost. This one I traded for a while ago. So I never actually paid for this one, but I traded for it. But I don't know what the cost of the different puzzles were. I believe the retail is like 40 I think this one might have been like 65 if I'm not mistaken. And then the deluxe, then, well, I don't know, it keeps uh, going from there. Yeah, but I have a way to make it more deluxe. Okay, go ahead. Having a little, but having a little button in, in, inside the fire hat, that when you put it on the meeple, it presses and it makes a little, ah! That would definitely be more deluxe. Yes, it would be fun. All right, you want to grab Cat Lady? We're not, we're doing quacks next. You want to do Cat Lady last? Yes, because that's the one. Because that's the one I'm not. I know what the pieces look like, but I'm not 100 percent sure what the pieces Fine. look like. Fine. Let's do Quacks of Quedlinburg. Now, Quacks of Quedlinburg, you may recall from one of the first Luxation videos I did on the channel. One of the first videos I did on this channel was going to be Quacks of Quedlinburg. But since then, well, no, I'm saying not in the channel channel. In, the, in this Luxation series, I did Quacks of Quedlinburg a long time ago to show you specifically these tokens over here. I want to show you these pieces. If you've ever seen Quacks and you don't know what these these are heftier pieces of the cardboard things. I upgraded those a long time ago. Oh, I knew these were cardboard. But since then, since then, I have since upgraded the game even further. I have assembled a uh, this is a Meeple Realty insert. Uh, we have assembled that. Why are half these over here? Now? Because the problem again, first world problems. The problem with having a special insert is when you have special inserts and deluxified pieces. Sometimes they don't always fit, which means this is our overflow tray for things that don't otherwise fit. Really? So we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put like these to the side. Like ingredients. And we're going to go That's ahead cute. and take the board out. And this is, again, very fast, quick setup. You can see over here, you want to look at the overhead camera? Can you see? You can see the very quick, fast setup of all the deluxified pieces over here. You can pull out any trays you want. Just grab a tray or two 
and just slide them directly out and set them up on the board and then you're good to go there. So this um, speeds up and then these have nice little doors as well that can be slid off like so, just mm -hmm. revealing what you need and then put them back. You can pull it directly from the top if you want. But Basically, that's a lot harder. Yeah, your preference. You choose what you want to do. Because like, when it gets, when, when, there's, when it gets old, there's barely any left. You have to like dig your fingers in there and yep. like work it up. Then we have the book of ingredients, which actually I'm locks going. over here. So you have to <gasps> open it and then you can pull this up I'm over here. I'm going to assume the book of ingredients contains what everything means. Yep. It contains all the ingredients. And I did not see that. I did not see it before the video. Then we slip, close that and okay, lock it again. This is adorable. That's gonna be our book. It's like our little guy. It's like our little secret book that we keep that we keep locked yep. to make sure that we all have the other the gems mm -hmm. over here and this thing over there. And then we have lock? this no. is going to be your fortune teller little set of cards where you can slide out. Which way does it go? Slide up from here. I don't know. This is gonna give us the witches expansion, the herb witches. You're like the herb witches. What herb witches? We haven't played with them. They fit into here. The herb oh. witches are going to give you different ways to mitigate bad luck and different things like that. That's gonna be That's all gonna of be that. That's gonna be helpful for me. So, the thing that I haven't shown Ricky yet, and this is going to be, so let's cover where these things are from. Trogdor's going to be self-contained. Yeah, Paint the Roses is self-contained. Tiny Towns has a folded space insert, which you can get from Meeple Realty, as well as a whole bunch of extra deluxified resources, realistic resources you can get from Meeple Realty, from, not Meeple Realty, from Top Shelf Gamer. And then this insert, what's up? I'm not, I'm not looking at it. Oh, you're not looking? Piece. Uh, this insert's going to be a Meeple Realty insert that I believe I got directly from Meeple Realty a while ago. These upgraded bits, I don't remember where they're from. Go uh, Board Game Geek does sell a version of upgraded uh, acrylic bits or Bakelite bits that aren't these. These, I can't remember where they're from. I will throw a link down below to where you can get these deluxified extras over here. And then from here, we have the top, uh, the top Shelf Gamer upgraded set, which is going to be some 3D printed yeah, tokens. Right. Now, not yet, not yet. Okay. And oh, go I ahead. <gasps> I was just thinking before the video, it would have been nice if, if the little rat tokens had been 3D. So they basically I gave was us, just thinking about that. They gave us a round marker, which the round marker does not look 3D. Um, it does. It's No, it's the feel is different. It doesn't feel like plastic. Ugh, it feels weird. It feels yes. wrong. So, well, it's actually the way around. I actually love the round marker. The round marker is going yep. to be a huh. replacement for the Quacks of Quedlinburg round marker that goes on this round marker over here. Well, I think it's very much more appropriate for candles. Yep, it works there. And the cauldrons. And then we have cauldrons, which are going to be your score markers and your uh, your little cauldron marker and your score marker on the track over here. The... And then lastly, we have... What are the have... black ones for? The black ones is a player color black. Yeah. Why is there one, two? Oh, wait, two. Because each the one has two. The black is glittery. And then we have little rat tokens, which are the equivalent of the rat tails for you. Now, again, oh. us 3D printed bits that I haven't actually played with these yet. We just played Quacks yesterday, but I didn't actually use these yet. Uh, so it's always a question of whether these are better or worse than the regular things. 3D yeah. bits are always going to be... Here, let me go ahead and do that. Oh, you perfect. Got it. Okay. Yeah, these are going to be little I cauldrons. I just knew. Hold your hand over... Hold your hand underneath it. Yeah, these are going to be little cauldron tokens over here that have the player colors on them. Again, my problem, I've said this before in previous videos, my problem with 3D printed bits is they always feel a drop less, I don't know, a like, drop less premium. Very, like, V, 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 I can yeah. feel it. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Feels kind of gross, but th this mark just feels wrong. It doesn't, feels like hollow. Okay, let's go Maybe ahead. it's resin. Let's go ahead and grab these. Maybe it's these. epoxy. Oh, uh, that one, I don't, I don't know. It might be, it might be, it might be resin. It's possible it's resin. I have never held... I've never held anything uh, uh, that's made of resin other than board game miniatures and pen blades. Ah! You got them? Can you get I those? The yellow one. I have it already. Okay. Okay, pass it over here. Blop. And then we're going to go ahead and put this back in the box. But yeah, those are going to be 3D upgraded yeah, bits that I'll let you know how they turn out, how I actually use them or not. This goes th I'm that's the all the way around. All the way around. I'm using the black one because that's sparkly. Time, okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this back. This is the problem with this. I need to put this exactly like so, and like so. There we go. Did I do it. I know the you know. I know the you know. It's of having the person put something exactly, or it looks a lot wrong. Yep. And there That's how paid by stickers are. Pass me. No, I have a box off. And if you do a great <laughs> job of every sticker, but then this one sticker you messed up, it looks wrong. And Yay. finally, we do Cat Lady. You can go ahead and open up Cat Lady. Oh, so Cat Lady is, on its own, not a very deluxified <laughs> game. This is basically an AG game with Zero standard cards, tokens. I mean, we've sleeved the game with using Blah. sleeves from 
uh, 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 yeah, Sleeve Kings. Sleeve Kings is my sleeve company of choice. And we already mm. condensed everything into two boxes, into one box. We actually yeah. have the top of one box, the bottom of another, I believe. And we, we have the box streets top and the cat lady bottom. Yeah, I decided, all have, that. I decided to have one of each because I couldn't decide because the original one's color was cuter, but the, but the top of the other was cute. Now, the was base game is going to give you all these tokens as your food cubes for the various cats. And that's fine. It works totally well. Unless but then, right there. I don't want to see them. From, from, again, Top Shelf yeah. Gamer, I saw, this is what prompted the video, by the way. The reason I started a video with the whole things that Games Rookie has played is because they had a bunch of tokens for Cat Lady, and I was like, Ricky likes Cat Lady. Let's see what we can do with fish. <gasps> They're so cute! And this is a little, this is a little different, because mm. thematically, uh, the game has tuna, but we have meat instead of tuna. I've Actually, never... no, sorry, sorry. We have meat, we have fish instead of tuna, we have meat instead of chicken. The, um, yeah, fish is, tuna is fish. And then we have milk for milk. Oh, and the milk bottle. Yeah, so that's going to be a bit of an upgrade to your standard resources, which we're going to have to now fit into this already crammed to the very, very top box. Yeah, for me, the steak doesn't feel deluxified. It's probably because I've never seen a real steak, so no steak looks deluxified. Oh, probably. yeah. It's just white, and it's hard to put proper shading and fanciness on the steak. Mm. Yeah, we have this conversation where I showed these tokens online, which is she doesn't know what raw steak looks like. I've never seen a steak. I'm I don't not, know if I've ever seen I'm a steak. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying you don't know what raw steak looks like. Why now, the interesting thing is, what's interesting for? and actually a little bit annoying what? is... The divot? That's interesting. This divot? So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, so over here, this is an example of what I mean when I tell you when I don't like things oh, too. Oh, they don't give us wild. We don't have a wild resource. Now, I understand that a wild resource can't be depicted. And of course, you could always proxy it in. You could say, um, well, I'm treating the wild as that. We can. What do you mean? We can make it. We can, we can just make something like a shopping bag for it. A shopping bag would be a great, that would be a great example. A shopping bag would be a great example for a wild resource. Because the problem is you could just proxy it in as you get it. But the flip side is wild resources in the game can be moved around as needed. I wouldn't want to put this on the board. If it's a wild resource, because I might rearrange my wild resource later. And then we're going to take another. Yeah, and so... And what if it's all out by then, so I can't take another, but I can it still count to something. Yeah, I think a shopping bag or some sort of indicator of uh, some sort of... That's a wild... Shopping bag is a great example, a great idea. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a wild resource is missing <laughs> from this otherwise replacement for the, the, the tokens you would use in Cat Lady. And a perfect way to make it. Yeah, that's us. We can maybe I'll maybe I'll three D print it. We can also take a small. We can also just take a few very small. But we could also uh, just take brown paper, take the and use these cubes, and then cover them up with the brown paper, fraying at the edges. If you can go ahead and do that. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can all fit in one bag. Cause I don't actually <coughs> mind putting them in one bag. So that is going to be basically the, the five games we're covering today. This is again. My favorite. Okay, go ahead and put the put the milk in. Yeah, the milk in. feels a little messy to Ooh, me. Oh, I like the milk. Yeah, it just feels a little messy. Oh, it does. It has a little sticky feel to it, I hear you. And no, it's actually, no, it looks messy. Well, that's more old, old a little messy to me. Either way, that is going to be your other deluxification video. Let me see if I get these back in the box. This is not going to work. We're not, not going to put these in the box. No, we still need them. No, we, we don't. We do. No, we don't. It has wild resources. We'll we figure it out. We can literally just take out the wild ones and we prop them in. We will figure this out later. We'll figure it out later. But either way, that is going to be a deluxe fashion video from all these games over here. We have, again, Tiny Towns, Paint the Roses, Cat Lady, Trogdor, and Quack. Some of them inherently deluxe, others deluxified and added to. As usual, what I always say with this video series is this is an expensive video series. By its very nature, this is spending more money on games than you need to. This is by its very existence. I mean, when you see Paint the Roses on Kickstarter, if or when you see this on Kickstarter, October 4th, I want to say, early October, maybe it was October 10th, whatever it was, yeah, they're acts. You're going to have a choice to make. Art. You can pick this up at retail and get the game you want there, or you can pay more money to get a deluxified version of the game. We always want the new and shiny. It is tempting. I, I get it. Well, I we do get... have a 3D printer, and we can just do sandpaper on it also. Yeah. But either way, it's always a decision as far as spending your money on what you spend your money on, whether you get another game or whether you improve a game you already have. Those are choices you have to make, or whether you just do neither. Maybe you don't get another game, and you don't improve the game you have, and you just enjoy the game you're already fine with. Again, by its very nature, this hobby can be expensive, and deluxifying things, buying inserts, buying premiums, buying upgrades, just adds to the cost. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm saying it's a decide how you want to spend your money accordingly kind of situation. Until next time. I'm Alex. And I'm Ricky. And as always, have a good one.